Within Education for Sustainable Development, the topic of food waste is a really interesting topic to cover with children in the primary classroom. Let's talk about food waste. Did you know that 1.3 billion tonnes of food is wasted globally every year? Let's think about that. That's like going to the supermarket, buying three bags of food and basically sending one bag straight to landfill. So, in addition to the negative impact that food wastes cause on the environment, it's also an ethical issue. Consider this, over 800 million people worldwide are suffering from chronic hunger and malnutrition. What can we do about this? Here in Maynooth University, we are exploring these local and global issues with our student teachers so that they too can go on and explore these issues in their future primary classrooms. One potential solution in exploring these issues and in living more sustainably is the circular economy concept. I was lucky enough to be part of the Horizon 2020 AgriCycle project, a co-funded initiative between the EU and the People's Republic of China, where we explored food waste and addressing food waste through a circular economy. One of the outputs of the AgriCycle project was to produce resources for teachers, which are now available online on the AgriCycle platform in the AgriCycle Kids section. These resources are available in both English and Chinese, and also Toshider Fa Trigwelga, Dona Skulna Gweltochta, Dona Gweltskulna, Agus Enya Atogiri, and Gallagher Kirkloch, a Isru Trigwelga. So, what is a circular economy? A circular economy is a model of production and consumption that strives to produce little or no waste at all. It involves sharing, leasing, repairing, refurbishing and recycling materials for as long as possible. The circular economy concept has become embedded across all levels of curricula in Finland. And here at the Frebel Department of Maynooth University, we too have introduced the circular economy concept to our initial teacher education programs. We begin by observing circular economy examples in the natural world. And we are well placed to do so, given that the Maynooth University campus was awarded the 2020 Green Flag Pollinator Project Award. The Maynooth Green Campus team strive to embed the sustainable development goals across all areas of the university. In the Frebel department, we tap into the biophilia hypothesis, mirroring the work of Frebel in the 1800s, where we positively encourage relationships with the natural world. This encourages a sense of stewardship, which we hope our student teachers share with the next generation in primary classrooms. Therefore, Education is playing a role in the global issue of the urgent need for greater sustainability. We as educators have a responsibility to explore content such as how to live with greater circularity and the five ORs, starting with refuse, reduce, reuse, repurpose, recycle. And we need to continue to find creative ways of including primary school children in the sustainable development conversation. So I want to leave you with these words from Rachel Carson. The more clearly we can focus our attention on the wonders and realities of the universe about us, the less taste we have for destruction. This is a position we like to share with our student teachers here in Maynooth University.